Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Paramic Financial with Finance in 5 to 10 Minutes. This is Jonathan Tran here. Today's topic that we're going to talk about is SBA funding for coronavirus relief, right? So there's a lot of programs that were given out for small businesses and businesses during the coronavirus pandemic when it first started. So if you go, a lot of this information that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is uh, from the sba.gov website. So if you want to double check or you forget what I'm talking about, but you want to read it over yourself, just go to sba.gov and you can access all the information about coronavirus assistance programs. Some of the main programs that were offered from SBA were very well known as the EIDL Loan Advance. You can get anywhere from one to up to $10,000 depending on how many employees you have in your business. Unfortunately, at this moment, you guys are watching this video, the EIDL loan is no longer being offered. It's just out of funds at the moment, right? But people who received that, that was like a grant that was given to them and you can use it to operate your business and you didn't have to pay it back. Some other programs that were offered as well are the PPP program or also known as Payment Protection Program. And this program was SBA partnered with the banks in order to roll out this program. And basically it takes your payroll expenses that you have and they give you a loan against it based on that calculation of how much payroll that you paid out to uh, your employees in the year. And then you would receive a loan depending on how much you did. So that program first started back in 2020. Some data that I just want to share with you guys is that since the inception of the program last year, over 5.5 million loans have been issued out already. Of that, the dollar amount is up to $557 billion. And 5,448 lenders participated in issuing out all these loans to uh, businesses that were in need during the coronavirus pandemic. Now, we, as you know, round two PPP has come out already. And since this program has already started as of the 24th of January, 400,000 loans have been issued out already. $35 billion have been issued for round two. And this time, 4,500 lenders are participating. So uh, the money is there. There's about 200 something billion dollars to be issued out. So it looks like, you know, we're a little bit over 10th of the percent away there. We got a lot of money still left over. Program is running from now until March 31st of 2021. So you have a limited time to apply for the loan. So make sure that you gather your paperwork together. You can go to a local bank. Uh, where you bank is probably the easiest way for you to apply for your loan because they prioritize their customer, bank customers first. And then a lot of people who maybe their bank doesn't do the loan for them, they can go online or they can talk to their CPA, their financial advisors or whoever finance that understands the PPP loan, like our firm too, ask for help to apply for the loan. Just in terms of forgiveness, this loan that you borrow is also can be forgiven. So that's a, something special about the PEP loan is that you borrow this money and then uh, you use it to operate your business during the pandemic. And then if you use the money the right way that the uh, guideline, the SBA brings out, then that loan will be forgiven, right? And, and that's the very unique thing about this loan is that you don't have to pay it back if you use it the right way. So far, there has been almost 600,000 submissions for the forgiveness and $83 billion have been forgiven. So just to think, there was almost $550 billion being issued out so far, only $83 billion have been forgiven. So there's a lot of people out there that, you know, have taken the money and haven't applied for forgiveness yet. But uh, we will talk about how to apply for the loan. If you're a first time borrower for round two, we will also talk about if you have borrowed the money the first time and now you want to borrow a second time, how does that work for you? And in our last video, we're going to talk about forgiveness. When I borrow all this money, whether it was the first time or the second time, what do I need to do to make sure that my loan is forgivable or if I can forgive it as much as possible, right? So you don't have to pay it back. So far payments, those are, who are not forgiven is uh, 367,000 payments I've made in about 38 billion dollars have been paid back, right? So about $110 billion has been forgiven or paid back, but that's only one fifth of the way there, right? So there's a lot of opportunity around being able to obtain funding right now. The most important thing right now is because we have a limited time crunch. 
you got to apply, right? So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to apply for the PVP loan if you are the first time, right? So stay tuned for our PVP loan series. Please leave your comments in below, like and subscribe to our page. We uh, really appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.